Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Deco Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Uh, today I will show you how to make uh, an image pop-up effect on your Android smartphone using your PC. Layer. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to uh, mask. You, you are going to get a tips about masking in details. And you are going to learn how to make this uh, pop-up effect for your Instagram post. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The first thing to do is to set the background size. So take it for instance, the why uh, the width I want it to be one zero two four. Why the height will be one two eight zero, and you should be able to see something like this. But it happened like this. Don't worry. Just close, then you reopen. Okay. When you reopen, cancel, then close again. It just happen. So when you close, then you cancel this which is the custom template stuff okay then you resize again so let's say 1024 so you should be able to see something like this after that go back to the color then change your color to your desired text i want to use something like this i have to select okay so select a frame like this let it look well. So after selecting the frame, just make sure that you centralize it. Have the color being changed to whatever you want for cutout. Then after that, you are going to select another one. So that will be like this. So make sure it will be like this okay okay cool cool so after you are able to do that then the next thing is to centralize it as well so that the left and the right will not be uh, will not be the same so after you're able to do that we look at the bottom whether it's okay okay it's cool then you make the two together and cut out uh those uh the white area so now you have this have the color being changed to white after that okay so after changing the color to white then the next thing you need to do is to go in there bring the images which you want to use so take it for instance the image i want to use is this so i want it to pop out so now that could be so just follow me as i'm going to show you how to unveil that okay so you can make it bigger uh, but should not be okay so after setting it that way then the next thing you need to do is to uh you can increase depends on how you want it but seem to be cool like this so after you are able to make it that way then the next thing you need to do is to cut it out and make it look real so i can just increase the size let it be around here okay so just to make it big a little bit then bring it up a bit a bit okay perfect so now the next thing we need to do is to uh, position it well so i need to send uh this i need to send it to the back that one will make it uh, look awesome so how that one will be so take it for instance i will first of all cut out part here so go to eurasia so when you get to Eurasia, I need to cut out some parts. So take it for instance, this part needs to be cut out. So after that, I will have this result. So it will be very easy for me to use the mask on this. So when that has been done, then the next thing I need to do is to send some pets out while some B. So we can use two method anyway. We can still go back to Eurasia, 
while we are going to zoom this we we'll zoom it out so what i'm going to do next is to use the eraser to do the remaining work so increase it a bit why i'm going to use my eraser just use it to erase it follow this step erase it very clean let it clean but not touch any area okay just increase it like this while you are going to trim it so that it could neat that is the essence of zoom it out you make it more neat okay so when you do that you are going to just uh following the tips okay it's cool like that very cool so you can see it's cool like that so we can use uh, the stuff the remaining stuff do the needful so you can see how the hand will pop up okay so the next thing we need to do now we can uh, actually cut out some pets as we want so take it for instance if we lay our hands on this we can just reduce it to smaller size while we, we, we bring it up just let it be at this particular area so we'll move that to, to let one tips be here while another one will be here while we were able to cut out this particular area so we send that to the back use this to trim this particular area including this okay perfect you can bring it down why this will be like this okay perfect perfect and you can see the magic right so after that for you to be able to cover the uh the one at the back where it's cut out so you can just copy after copy go to sorry go to the mask then you click out so that you'll be able to see the remaining part which you cut out so you can bring it in okay you are going to manually adjust so that there won't be any space or any cheating you know we'll make it back but remember we have cut it now you send it to the back it will make it work perfectly okay very good so if the hand if it is not work perfectly as you want and it's still showing a kind of a tips you can delay this why you readjust this a little bit because i'm not really fully satisfied i mean satisfied with that so i'm going to position this here why this So I want it to be like this. So why this one will come out well? So let's look at this. Okay, very good. So now copy. Repeat the previous process. Okay. Then you are going to position this here. Now manually, sorry. Even before we back, you can bring it to the front. Why you manually adjust it? so you'll be able to see clearly so when you adjust the finish send it to the back then you should be able to have this particular result so i'm still having an issue with this because of the elbow you can see the elbow not to look really nice so you can still delete it while you are going to uh, make your mask do the perfect work okay so since the marks look like that so you need to adjust okay let's see it remains small not okay okay seem to be perfect like this okay good so now that we have that we can still readjust this a little bit because we will later bring it to the back so now follow pre previous process 
why we are going to manually adjust this so not to waste much time when you set them out you can manually adjust so now send it to the back and we have a cool result uh this is cool right so after that has been done you can now uh you can now lock the two then what we're going to do to make the work easier we need to apply shadow a little bit okay so what we we'll just need to do is we need to be very very uh careful in applying the shadow so that it won't differentiate them so your radius let it be three okay don't uh then use a black shadow three you know i'm not adjusting anything just let it be like that so the one at the bottom what you will do what are you going to do with it so we are going to select the same why this will remain three so it could be able to uh, be the same but if it doesn't work we have to remove it and use another style for that okay so what we just need to do is to remove it because at time it might not work okay remove but uh, what are we going to do with this so we can actually go to our canva i mean sorry go to our gallery so in your gallery i'm looking for because i know i have a shadow so you look for a shadow or form one but i guess i have one here so this particular shadow can be used okay so because there should be a kind of a reflection for the hands okay so that is what i want to do so when you select this what you are going to do is to set it to the back why it will be under the hands okay so you can see right look at how it is so make it it may use uh, it may uh make it to look sense okay to make sense uh okay so now you adjust a little bit so that the hands will just be lifting and there will be a kind of a little shadow i mean it will be reflecting a little bit so you can make it obvious a little bit while you are high the whole stuff now the work is not in there we go back to where we have all our other uh, ingredients to make it uh, look awesome so i'm going to position this lost of a thing this love icon i'm going to position it around this particular area just a little bit so i will go to here just make the whole stuff to be reddish okay just make it to be reddish so after that i'm positioning that around there okay perfect now there is a chat uh, uh there should be a kind of a chat icon which i'll have to position around here turn it like this and uh, you are going to give it a black color and uh, go to the stroke just give it a black stroke that will be the perfect that will be perfect the black stroke so then make it to be one reduce the size well and you have a position beside this love icon okay so make it big a little bit so let it be around here perfect so after that has been done there's still an email stuff so this which is going to be positioned around here so we're going to reduce the size perfectly and uh, following the uh, previous process why you use uh the grid as a kind of a ruler so use it as a ruler position it here to measure so that one will not go out of uh after the another one okay position increase the size okay perfect then you look at it critically don't let it uh, sit and don't let it be too much okay perfect so we can just shift this chart icon shift it towards here while we shift the laugh icon shift it towards here as well so now after that has been done we can now close it now it makes sense okay cool so i'm thinking to remove the color from this to make it uh, the way it was so after that then we put in the so we put in our instagram stuff so we can quickly check for um 
So let's say twenty or let's say thirty thousand nine hundred. Okay, views. Okay, cool. So now we we are going to make this one. Let it bold a bit. While we go to the color, give it a black color. Okay, perfect. Then you reduce the size. Which kind of a font can go for this? We can use a, let's say, a Roboto. Roboto could be the best for this. Uh, Roboto could be the best. Roboto. Yeah. So when we say Roboto board, will be the best. So Roboto blackboard. So we can uh, have this one position around here. So when you position like that you increase the size a bit after increasing the size let there be spacing between the letters okay it's just as cool as this so if it is too bold we can just go in there change our roboto to something else so we have a roboto the one that is not as uh, deep as that let go for medium or the medium should be the best so now that we have that so we can um just go in there go in there we have a uh, at deco graphics at deco graphics okay then we we'll have this so. shift this one a bit Okay, perfect. So now let's look for the Roboto that is not as uh, as good as this. We have the regular. The regular could be the best. So just look for regular. The regular should be around here. Why we use a blue icon for that? Let's check in for blue icon. The dips one. This can be ma manipulated and adjusted. Um, okay, cool. Cool. So, after having that, we just need to shift this a bit while we go in there and I have more. So, you know, there's always be more. Then we are going to change the color of that to something ash, ash color, but not as deep, but to be obvious so it should be an ash color okay perfect then you manually adjust and make it a look uh, professional just make it look real so shift it towards this so that will look like more then after that has been done we are going to just put a view up so let's say view all view all let's say 28 comments 28 comments okay guess this is cool so having that we position that under here perfect perfect so this is how to make a uh, instagram even if you are um, having some product a kind of a product you can make it more presentable as this just make your product pop out like this and this is actually cool right so thank for watching i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you so have your work being safe as a, a ultra and as png